Welcome back to Red's Roundup and in this video we're going to be taking a look at why I avoid mega cap stocks. So what are mega cap stocks and why do I avoid them? Here are my reasons. Crazy valuations, lots of eyes on them, not many options, and at the end of the video I'm going to have really good solutions for you that are action steps for you to take. So over $2 billion in market cap is what it takes to be considered a mega cap stock in most people's eyes. So what are these names? Apple. Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook. These are all companies that are hanging over or around a trillion dollars in market cap. These are huge companies. Now, my first reason for why I don't like them is the choices. You're very limited in what you can choose from. So let's see. There are 27 mega cap stocks right now. 27 United States mega cap stocks. Compare that to the 6,500 non mega cap stocks, and you're in for way more choices in the non mega cap area. You can choose anything from real estate to financials and in the mega cap sector you're really only picking from tech because if we remember those names Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, those are all tech companies or at least they have a component of tech in them. So let's continue. My second reason, the eyes on each company. So let's take three examples here like I was saying before, Facebook, Amazon, and Apple. Each of these companies has over 30 analysts following them. So that Facebook has 36, Amazon has 38, and Apple has 31. So what is an analyst? Analysts are people who follow the stock on Wall Street and either give a buy, hold, or a sell recommendation. And these people devote all of their career to following these types of stocks and giving recommendations on them. And I'm, I just think, okay, for myself, am I really going to beat these analyst investors at their own game? Am I going to try and outsmart 36 analysts who are picking at Facebook? Am I going to try and outsmart them? I don't think I am. I think I'm going to try and look somewhere else. And if we look somewhere else, and I do look other places, we're going to see one of my great picks that I just found. One of my great picks, and you're going to see more at the end of this video. One Stop System, ticker symbol OSS. It's only followed by three analysts. That means that these companies, these Facebook, Amazon, and Apple companies, are followed by over 10 times more analysts. And with the analysts comes the retail traffic, because then the stock gets featured on CNBC. They bring an analyst on, they talk about it. The Jim Cramer show, what a, Mad Money, it gets featured on that show. But this stock, there's no way it's getting featured on that show. It's way too small. There are no analysts, really, that are going to want to talk about it. And that's why I'm looking at these small cap companies, these micro cap companies, because there's so much more potential for money to be made. I bought this stock at around $2, and I think it has a fair value of over 4 So that's over double my money, if I'm correct. But if you look at these companies, they're more or less trading around their intrinsic value, their intrinsic business value, as Warren Buffett says. So let's look at my next quote. So this is a quote from Peter Lynch. He's the author of One Up on Wall Street and a, a famous investor. The market at this point is institutional and we all act like a herd. Peter Lynch. So what does he mean by this? He means that the market is so heavily owned by institutions and these analysts that it sort of moves as one unit. Everybody who's an institution, they're pretty much buying the same stuff. And you don't want to be in with them. You want to be off buying their your own stuff because they aren't looking at that stuff and they're really ignoring it and it's going to be underpriced and you're going to be able to take advantage of that. So if Peter Lynch thinks you should be doing something, it's usually a pretty good idea. So let's move on. Valuation. This is my fourth reason. This one is a huge one for me, especially in recent times. And you're going to see why with this chart. So as we can see here, this is the S&P 500 to GDP ratio. So this is comparing the market cap of the S&P 500 so the 500 largest companies in America, publicly traded, to the GDP of the United States. So as we can see, it hit a high in 1999 and then sharply declined right after in the dot-com bubble. The dot-com bubble was not a good time to be investing in tech. And guess what is making up a big proportion of the mega cap stocks nowadays? Tech companies. And what's happening now, we're seeing even higher S&P 500 to GDP ratios, even higher than the dot-com bubble. 
that might make you suspicious. Are we going to see another massive downturn like that? I don't know. I'm not willing to speculate on whether we will or won't. I have my opinions. And even in 2007, they, were, they, they weren't even that bad. But now look how high they are. That's super high. I'm not sure I want to be investing in these huge companies when it's, when it's so possibly overvalued. So what is my solution? This is really my key to you. This is the key to the game. Follow my small cap investing advice. You're not going to be disappointed with what you find or find your own. So looking here, this is my spreadsheet. This is my investment spreadsheet. You will have access to this in the description of every video. So we see here some of my picks. ACMR, Research, PW, Equinox Gold, One Stop Systems. These are all companies that I've picked within the last few months that are aiming towards triple digit annualized return. So that means you're going to get over 100% on an annualized basis. ACMR already have realized a 200% gain. One Stop Systems, one of my very recent picks, is already up over 37%, heading to an annualized return of over 800%. If you think you're going to do better investing in the S&P 500 or other mega cap stocks, be my guest. But if you want an easier way to do it, I would say maybe follow some of my advice. Follow your own advice. Don't just follow me because I will be fact checked. I don't, I'm not a genius. I don't know everything. So really subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, like the video and keep watching, keep learning. We're going to do this together. Thanks for watching.